Good morning, Cardinals fans. Thanks for stopping by for a quick chat over a cup of coffee. I'm Tara Wellman, and if you don't know, I cover the Cardinals for birdsontheblack.com. And on this channel, I create daily and weekly videos from game recaps to series previews to product reviews to story tent. There's a little bit of everything because my goal is always to keep fans like you in the loop and entertained. So make sure that you subscribe so that you can get all of that content and more. But if you're not quite convinced yet, just keep watching. There will be a little logo in the bottom left corner of this video throughout the video. You can click on that and subscribe if I can win you over. So let me try to convince you. This though is about last night. Jacob deGrom was scheduled to pitch for the visiting New York Mets, but a combination of strep throat and a barky elbow kept him out of the series. So in his place came Chris Flexen. Yes, last name Flexen. I don't know how he doesn't just walk around all the time. Flex, I, I digress. But Chris wouldn't be straight Flexen for long. The jokes just write themselves. I don't know how you don't roll with it. Regardless, he was quickly introduced to Jose Martinez, who scored in the second and drove in the fourth run of the game in the third inning. Yes, you heard me correctly. The Cardinals scored early and often on Saturday. Runs in the second, the third, the fifth, the sixth, and the eighth. Scored by Martinez, Molina, Wong, DeYoung, Ozuna, Carpenter, and Goldschmidt. Driven in by Michaelis, Martinez, Molina, and Goldie. Basically, everyone got to run the bases at some point. We'll come back and key in on a couple of those offensive performances in a moment. But first, after Michaelis got off to a quick start at the plate, driving in two runs, he continued to dominate on the mound. The Mets managed just four hits on the day, Michaelis holding their powerful lineup scoreless through six innings. Now, based on recent history, and if you didn't see the game or anything about the game since then, you'd probably think that's where Michaelis' day ended. You would be wrong. Despite giving up two runs in the seventh inning, Michaelis became the first Cardinal starter of 2019 to record even a single out in that frame. And just to make sure that it was not easy to one-up him for the next guy out, Miles pitched another scoreless inning on top of that. He completed eight innings on 100 pitches, striking out four, walking two, and allowing only those two runs in the seventh. The bullpen, as good as it has been, needed that. Of course, it helped getting another two-hit day from DeYoung, as well as Molina, and another three-hit day from Martinez. Now, defensively, DeYoung and Martinez kind of tell the story of this current iteration of the Cardinals as well. DeYoung's defense yesterday was fabulous. He's showing more and more range, he's gaining more and more strength and accuracy on every throw. Plus, with Colton Wong's athleticism and Paul Goldschmidt's sure-handedness, that side of the infield makes game-changing plays night after night. The outfield alignment, though, of Ozuna Fowler-Martinez is sometimes an adventure. But when they're all hitting like they are, it makes the miscues a little more palatable. Oh, and just when we started to wonder if Goldie was ever going to get his groove back, he demolished a pitch right over the middle of the plate. It may have come close to landing in Ballpark Village across the street. 465 feet was the official measurement, and that was straight into the wind. It's the longest home run by a Cardinal hit at Busch Stadium since StatCast began measuring these things. And did I mention that not a single Cardinal struck out at the plate until the sixth inning? There were two strikeouts in that inning, Michaelis and Goldschmidt, but those were the only two of the day. So yeah, it was a pretty good day on the mound and at the plate. And that is the story of the Cardinals picking up a big 10 to two win in game two with the Mets behind Miles Michaelis. Now my buddy Stu always puts out the best recaps. I mean, he keeps an immaculate scorebook. So if you want a little bit more detail, make sure you check that out at birdsontheblack.com.
Dakota Hudson will try today to help the Cardinals win the series before the Brewers come marching into town on Monday. Hudson's been roughed up a time or two, and this Mets lineup won't make it easy. But win or lose, rain or shine, as long as you're subscribed, you'll see this smiling face right here tomorrow to talk about it. I'll see you then.